in that subject is financial accounting too okay in that before classes we will discuss the statement of affairs okay so in the statement of affairs first pro forma is we will find out the opening capital and uh, next is to find out the closing capital after find out this opening capital and closing capital the next is what the next is the ascertain the statement of profit or loss okay now see the problem under the statement of affairs under account from incomplete records okay varma varma commenced her business on january 1st 2005 with a capital of rupees 30000 okay varma commenced her business with how much is capital rupees 30000 He immediately purchased machinery for rupees twenty thousand. Who Varma? Okay, Varma immediately purchased machinery for rupees twenty thousand. On thirty eight June, on thirty eight June two thousand five, he borrowed rupees ten thousand from his wife at the rate ten percent per annum. that interest is not at paid okay interest is not paid and introduced further capital of rupees 15000 introduced further capital means additional capital is how much additional capital is rupees 15000 during the year he withdrew, he withdraw 800 per month for domestic use so withdraw means what drawings during the year he withdrew rupees 800 per month for domestic use so 800 per month per year is how much per year is 12 months are there so that 800 into 12 is rupees 9600 for the domestic use on 31st december 2005 his position was as follows so 1st january is the opening and the 31st december is the closing now so for this on 31st december 2005 his position was as follows as far as cash in hand 600 cash in hand 600 cash at bank 8000 sundry credit sundry debtors sundry debtors is rupees 16000 stock 8000 bills receivable 5000 and sundry creditors rupees 2000 outstanding expenses 800 missionary is to be depreciated by 10% so here depreciation is also the how much is the depreciation value 10% so that uh, he immediately purchased a missionary on 20000 on this missionary we will calculate the depreciation at the rate of 10% ascertain the profit or loss made by varma during 2005 as a okay first what we find first what is the step first step is we will find out the opening capital or beginning capital is given na so on 1st january 2005 with a capital of 30000 okay opening capital is 30000 the next step is closing capital closing capital is given no so what he give on 31st december his position is like this from this information we will calculate the closing capital by in yesterday we wrote the pro forma na based upon that pro forma we will calculate the balancing figure of closing capital the next is drawings if any drawings are there the drawings will be added to the closing capital okay so drawings is given the next is additional capital introduced so how much is the additional capital 
introducer further capital or additional capital as same okay so this additional capital is deducted from the closing capital okay now see the solution okay this is a problem now solution is Statement of affairs Statement of affairs as on 31st December 2005 Suppose if he is not given opening capital then we will also find out the opening capital that is statement of affairs as on 1st January 2005 but in this problem opening capital is given okay and first we will find out the closing capital that is statement of affairs as on 31st December 2005 same as balance sheet but in this we will find out the balancing figure of capital is liabilities balance sheet performance is liabilities amount assets amount liabilities amount assets amount okay so under this first come to the asset side at the end of the year what is the position is first is cash in hand so before doing the problem first you know the pro forma okay so that is cash in hand is rupees 600 cash in hand 600 next is cash at bank next is cash at bank Cash at bank is 8000. Next is sundry debtors. Sundry debtors is rupees 16,000. Sundry debtors sixteen thousand. Next is stock. Stock is eighteen thousand. Stock is eighteen thousand. The next is bills receivable. Bills receivable is 5,000. The next is coming to the asset is missionary. That missionary is depreciated now. So first will be taken into the consideration is missionary value. How much is missionary value purchased? 
is 20,000. Visionary value 20,000. Okay. On this, we'll calculate the depreciation. So the depreciation is deducted from the asset. Okay, next is less less depreciation. So how we calculate twenty thousand into depreciation is ten percent. Ten percent means ten by hundred. So, 2000 is the depreciation. So, that 20,000 minus 2000 is 20,000 okay. 20, minus 2000 is 18,000. Next, coming to the liability side is creditors. Creditors is rupees 2000. Creditors is rupees 2000. The next is outstanding expenses. Next is outstanding outstanding expenses is rupees eight hundred. The next is on thirty June two thousand five, he borrowed ten thousand. From his wife okay, at the rate of ten percent. So that is loan borrowed means it's one type of an in the form of an loan. So that loan amount is rupees ten thousand. So he did not pay it to his wife. So it is included in his loan only. So how much is a rate of interest is 10 percent per annum so actually per year is how much is amount is 10,000 into 10 divided by 100 for 12 months okay but this is how many months only for six months why because he'll be taken loan on 38 june only so at the end of the year is 31st december so that remaining months are july august september october november december only six months are there so for, for this six months we will calculate the interest so that is add interest add interest is that is ten thousand into actually ten percent so for how many months for only six months for only six months so that is six ones are six two the twelve and next is two ones are two five that ten is five hundred interest is five hundred then the total is Then the total is 10,000 plus 500 is 10,500. Okay, this is a look. The next is we'll get. So, all the information is completed. Mm. Now, we'll find out the closing capital. So, how we find the closing capital? 
add all these assets and deduct these liabilities from these assets. Total of the assets is total is asset side total is 600 plus 8000 plus 16000 plus 18000 plus 6000 sorry plus 16000 plus 5000 in total is 65600 Total is 65,600. The next is liabilities total is 2,000 plus 800 is 2,800 plus 10,500. Total is 13,300. So that 65,006 total asset side total is 65,600. Okay. 65,600 minus 13,300 is 52,300. This 52,300 is what? Capital. Okay. Capital balancing figure capital balancing figure so total of the statement of applied charge on 31st December 2005 is 65,600. The next phase we will find out the statement of profit or loss. Statement of Statement of profit or statement of profit or losses pro forma is particular amount particulars amount so for my is particulars amount okay so first is we'll take it into consideration is closing capital now so that is closing capital on which date Closing capital as on as on thirty first December two thousand five. How much as on thirty first December two thousand five is fifty two thousand three hundred. Okay, closing capital as on thirty first December two thousand five is fifty two thousand five hundred. The next is. We'll add drawings. Add 
drawings so drawings per month is given we will calculate the year now so 800 into per year how many months are there 12 months are there so 800 into 12 is 9,600 total is 61,900 so from this we'll deduct the additional capital less additional capital Let's additional capital. How much is given in additional capital is 15,000. Direct this 15,000. 0096 4 is 46,900. From this, we'll deduct the opening capital. That is less. Opening capital. Opening capital as on which date? As on as on first January two thousand five. Okay, opening capital as on first January two thousand five is thirty thousand. Opening capital as on 1st January 2005 is 46,900 minus 30,000 is 16,900. So this is, we'll get an, a positive amount. Okay, so this is what profit. Profit generated. Profit, profit generated during 2005. Profit generated during the year 2005 is 16,900. Suppose here 30,000 is there. Here opening capital is 46,900 is there. Okay, so we will get the amount in, in minus figure. So then that is means what it is and a loss generated during the year. So in this case 46,900 minus 30,000 is there. Okay, is it getting amount is 16,900. So this 16,900 is what? 16,900 is a profit, profit generated during the year. Okay, this is our today's class. In next class, we will discuss another problems.